what I would do differently, um, I think slightly controversial, but I wish I could turn back time and turn into a tiger mom. I really do because everyone out there is a tiger mom and I am not and as a, as a result you know I'm convinced that my kid is not you know in terms of academic and this is what all Singaporeans parents parents worry about it's all about the academic uh, you know uh, results how they do um, and I just think when I when I look back and um, you know I was very lucky because I you know I worked for a wonderful organization that allowed me to have a three-day week mm. when I first had my wow. child. Yeah. Um, I don't think many other Singaporean firms would let you do that, but mm. uh, the BBC's a great organisation that way, let me have a three-day week. I was still allowed to work and I still had my hand in it, so I wasn't going completely nuts, but I, was, I had all that time with my child mm. and, and I loved it. And um, I just wish I'd spent more time. I mean, I did spend a lot of time playing with him, yeah. just really enjoying him. Mm. Uh, he was a lovely little boy, a lovely toddler, mm. and, uh, but I just didn't push. Mm. And I just wonder now, and I look back, and I'm like, oh God, I really should have been getting him into his ABCs. I should have got him into his other things, you know, because all the other mothers were doing Where it. Where was my channel? I needed you. And I was like, oh my God. And then, of course, the, the whole tiger mom thing came about. That, you know, obviously it was controversial because people agreed with it or they didn't. Yeah. And then I just thought, God, I compare myself to that, and I just fall so short. Mm. Um, and it's terrifying because you know there are these people out there who do this to their kids, <laughs> who push them. And um, th thankfully, I think in retrospect though, my child is now more well-rounded, he's much more sociable, yeah. I think he's, um, you know, he, he doesn't feel stressed. Um, and also, I've, unfortunately, I, I, you know, we then discovered he was dyslexic. Mm. So um, perhaps it, if I'd been a bit more on the ball oh. with, um, you know, trying to push him academically at a young age, I might have been able to identify that. And I feel really sorry that I didn't. Mm. Um, uh, thankfully, it was a, a really bright school teacher who, who knew there was something amiss. Mm. Uh, we did the tests and true enough, came back, he was his dyslexic. If you would like to see more videos that help take your parenting skills to another level, just click on the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching Champs TV and continue to discover the champion in your child. This has been a MindChamps Media Production.